Sam Scott is hard at work. Okay. He's moving his mailbox a few feet into his lawn. It's been beaten by and rain a little bit. Poor mailbox, knocked over twice already, all due to a snow plow. I've hit the mailbox twice, and I mean, those things happen, so I'll move it back further, maybe it'll solve the problem. Scott is one of many people in Delaware who says their mailbox feels the pain every time the plow comes to town. In fact, Jim Westhoff from Del Dot says that number nears about 100 destroyed mailboxes every year. You know, on many roads, we're going 20, 25 miles an hour. So that's a lot of velocity for these big chunks of snow coming off the blade hitting the, 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 the mailboxes. I'm surrounded by hundreds of tons of salt, and Del Dot officials tell me they'll be using a lot of this salt tomorrow when they expect four to seven inches of snow. And with this snow comes problems for people with mailboxes. Unfortunately, it's just a necessary byproduct of what we do. People, we just have to understand that it's a trade-off. You know, we're going to clean your road, but we might knock down some mailboxes. And Scott isn't alone in rebuilding bigger and better. Sirkan Derilmaz, the owner of Seaford Eagle Diner, says after some repairs, they'll be ready for this incoming snow. Make it a little bit taller and make it stronger and put some couple nails to it. They won't fly again. Mailboxes beware as the snow is coming soon.